So let's say we have a function f, it takes an integer, and should we pass it like this, you know, just passing the integer, or should we pass a pointer to the integer? Now, obviously if you need to modify the original integer outside the function, you need to pass the pointer to it. But what if we want to only read the integer? Should we pass it like this or this? Well, again, you can also do this if you can use the return value, if it's not used for uh, errors or something or other things, right? But we just need to read it. Should we actually just pass it like this or this? Or probably what you want is this. So that you can't accidentally modify it, right? So which one should we actually do? Well, when we are passing a pointer to the integer, obviously we are passing the address of the integer, so this thing, the pointer needs to be able to store the address of the integer, so if we print this, you know, we have the pointer here, right? And it's it has a size of uint pointer t or size t, but we can you know print print size of now of course all pointers are the same so uh, it needs eight bytes to store the address which we have seen before so. Uh, in this case, uh, so the pointer is 8 bytes and uh, the end is 4 bytes. So in this case, you know, even if you are, I guess, returning or need to modify the original int, if you can do this, you should probably do this because if we're passing the pointer, then we actually are passing more things we need more bytes because we need to store the uh, address now when we have a large object like for example stat stat struct stat so usually use this for you know, getting the size of a file or something, right? But this uh, thing is actually pretty pretty large. So if we look at the size of wait, size of stat, size of st. So it's one hundred forty four bytes because it stores a lot of things. Uh, if we can see here, so. In this case, if we are passing stat to a function like this, stat st, so if we pass it like this, so we are wasting 144 bytes for the original stat, and then if we pass stat to the function, this function has its own stat, so we have 283 bytes wasted. Whereas if you just pass a pointer to it, which if you're just reading the stat, we are wasting 144 bytes for the original stat and 8 bytes to store the address of stat. And then in this function, we just get the original stat. So we're just wasting what, uh, 150 something bytes. And if you have a recursive function, which your functions probably are if you're traversing directories. Let's say we have a function that recurses, you know, I don't know, four times. So we're wasting, let's just say this 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So 500 bytes 
and if we're not storing it in an array if we just need to use it you know once and then use it use the set in another function so we don't actually need to save the old value that that's kind of wasteful right so in this case we should pass a pointer to the object uh, so yeah hopefully that makes sense